Hey, um, my name is Heather Heck. I am a school counselor here at Arundel High School, and I'm also the S2S, or Student to Student Facilitator. Um, I work with about 60 or so Arundel High School students, mostly juniors and seniors, who are dedicated to help make the transition for all of our new students and transfer students, including our uh, strong number of military students who come to the school to kind of help make that transition um, as steady as possible for them. I'm Christian Hodges. When we asked Rundle faculty and staff what they thought of an educator's role in the life of a military student, they all agreed on one thing. When I'm talking to my, my friends and relatives about Rundle High School, um, I have a lot to brag about, but I never talk about like test scores or student achievement. Instead, what I'm most proud of about Rundle is uh, the way the students treat each other, uh, the way the staff treats each other. Um, the way that students interact with teachers, um, I think, is something that I haven't experienced at other schools that I've taught at, and I think is uh, really unique to the Arundel experience. And that led us to ask, what, what is the Arundel experience? experience? When we have new students, rather than just looking at them as somebody that's going to need things from our community, we also expect that they are going to have perspectives and viewpoints that they're going to bring with us that if we can understand those, we can get them to the resources that will help them be more successful, but we can also utilize what they're bringing with them to help our community grow. So how do we do that? We try to make the transition into the community um, easier because transitioning to a new part of the country is tough. We have a lot of people moving from different parts of the country that are very different than this super populated, um, busy East Coast area where we are very close to Washington, D.C., very close to Baltimore. What can teachers do to help ease the transition? One of the things teachers can do is to help students with the transition when the parent is either in Afghanistan or going over to Iraq or someplace like that. And when we're teaching those children, you get a better understanding of where they're coming from, some of the things that may be impacting them um, in their background life. So knowing that information, it'll help you make better decisions, informed decisions as far as how you can help the student, whether they are struggling in class, whether they have some type of social issues going on or something with a friend. So I do try to introduce them to other kids, especially when they're in my classes. Um, I ask them what they like to do, what they did at their other school. After the student enrolls, with the counselor and the registrar, um, that's when our S2S program really comes into play and comes to life for the student. So current Arundel students we find are the best resource for our new students, um, which is why our S2S group is made up of a diverse group of our, our best and most representative um, students at Arundel High School. When there are new kids in the building, our new kids in this school, our S2S group of uh, students, usually bring them by to see me because I am pretty friendly and I do my best to try to remember people's names. But what does this mean? Instead of being like, oh, you're a military student, here's what we have for you. Instead, we bring any student really in that's new and we try to understand here's, here's a wealth of possibilities, which ones appeal to you, which resource would be helpful to you and your family, and then additionally, what don't we offer here that maybe you've encountered at other communities that we could? And that puts them in a p position of leadership as opposed to just a position of, of receiving resources from a community. 